Hi there folks and welcome back to Airgun Reporter. For today's episode, we're going to check out the Crossman 1077, a neat little plinking rifle whose design was inspired by that classic rifle, the Ruger 1022. The 177 caliber Crossman 1077 is a semi-automatic plinker powered by a single 12 gram CO2 cartridge. The rifle is close to 37 inches long and is very lightweight at only 3 and 3 quarter pounds. This is because the rifle is made mostly from plastic. The 20 inch rifle barrel is covered in a metal shroud and at the muzzle you'll find a non-adjustable fiber optic sight. The rear sight is made from steel, adjustable for windage and elevation, and has a square notch. The breech has a dovetail for mounting optics, and for our testing we mounted a Leaper's Bug Buster scope on the 1077. The pellet magazine is reminiscent of the Ruger 1022 and holds a single 12 round rotary clip. Extra clips are available in a 3 pack like the one shown here. Like most rifles and action pistols that have a revolver style action, the clip works best with either wad cutter pellets or round nosed. If a pellet does get jammed between the clip and the breech, say if your CO2 is running low, all you have to do is push down and forward on these barrel latch tabs and this sends the barrel forward slightly so you can remove the pellet magazine and clear it. In our crony test we used H&M match 7.56 grain pellets and we got the following results. We've got a low velocity of 516 feet per second, a high of 601, an average of 567, an extreme spread of 84 feet per second, and a standard deviation of 26. Now we shot our pellets pretty quickly over the crowning, and that's the reason for that extreme spread. If you were to wait a couple of minutes between each shot, you would have seen more consistent results. But since we were shooting pretty fast, this gun was cooling off because of the CO2. But hey, that's the whole point of a plinking rifle like this is to fire them off as fast as you can. All right, now that we've done the crony testing, it's time to shoot the 1077 for accuracy. And for that, I'm gonna swap out the CO2 cartridge, put a fresh one in there. It's pretty warm up here in the air lodge, so we should be getting the most out of these cartridges. It seems to be about, wow, it's 79, almost 80 degrees in here. So I'll just put my cartridge in. And that's it, I heard a little hiss, and we should be good to go. Meanwhile, I'll load up my little clip here. For the accuracy testing, we tried a number of wad cutter pellets, but finally we settled on the brown box cross and premieres, and that gave us our best results. We shot the rifle at 10 meters bag rested, and here's the group we got. Yeah, I know those brown box crossman premieres are a little bit expensive, but hey, do some research yourself. You might just find a cheaper pellet that shoots just as good as those crossman premieres. Even when shooting off 12 rounds very quickly, we got a great group. Next up, we tested the 1077's trigger. The Crossman 1077 has a revolver style double action only trigger. You have to understand, when you're pulling this trigger, you're drawing back the hammer and advancing the clip, and this makes the trigger pull a little bit heavy. In our test, we got an average of eight pounds, 10 ounces. And as you can see from the accuracy earlier, if you squeeze off those rounds carefully, you can get some amazing accuracy out of this inexpensive rifle. Next up, I wanted to find out how many shots I get with a single 12 gram cartridge. And my results were about 48 shots before I felt it needed to be changed out. The Crossman 1077 is definitely backyard friendly. It's not loud at all. In fact, in our test, we only got 89.8 decibels. Folks, for well under 100 bucks, I don't think you're gonna find a CO2 powered rifle that in my opinion is surprisingly accurate and fun to shoot. It's just one of those rifles you look forward to breaking out once the warmer weather comes your way. Whether you mount a scope 
or just use the open sights on the 1077, you'll be sure to have hours of target shooting, bug busting, or just plain old tin can plinkin' fun for kids of all ages. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. Please remember folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious injury if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at a person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.